say welcome back to the channel. <laughs> What's up, Luchi Gang? Welcome back. What's up, Luchi Gang? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Kelly Jean. Huh? And this is Lucky Lou. What's up? Make sure you say to hit the like button. Don't be here to like subscribe right now. I had dropped my drink. Ugh. New merch on deck. New merch on deck. Got a sample and it's looking lit. I've seen it online. Yeah. That's nice. Look your gang dad hats. Gray and blue jean denim. You can go get them now on LucianoTV.com. Oh, that's my favorite. I think the red one matches what I'm wearing today, though. Yeah. Nice. Let us know what y'all think down in the comments, and make sure you go and cop yours. It's embroidered in there. It's a player made dad hat with the Luchi Gang and Luciano TV logo on it. So nice. Yes, it's. And look, this is what I like about them that they're uh, adjustable and they're just clip on. So you can move it and then you can even tuck this little thing in this slit. And obviously, I'm using my other hand for the camera, so I can't really show y'all right now, but it's nice. So, y'all yeah, make sure y'all go cop yours. LoChannelTV.com. The link is always in the description. And we back on the radio. Shout out to Engine Radio 91.7 in Houston, Texas. If you're not in Houston, Texas, download the Engine uh, Radio app and uh, jam us wherever you at it on the planet. Man, don't you hate when you pull up somewhere and you forgot your mask? Came to the Mitchell Connor to get some meat to barbecue with, and I realized I did not have a mask, and they strict about that in there. They always want somebody to wear a mask. So I had to wait in the car with all the children. Yeah, Houston knocked out. And Kelly wants to go get the fajitas and carnitas and pico de gallo, uh, frijoles and tortillas. So we could whip it up, man. It's Saturday, you know how we do. Can I have some, um, um. She just wanna be seen. She no. just wanna come up here and Can I have some see. this? No, you don't need no Red Bull. I do want one of them watermelon drinks they got in there, though. Did she take her phone? I need to call her so we get one of the watermelon drinks. Agua, what are they called? Agua fresca? Agua. Agua, though, hold up, hold up. I wanted to show y'all something else, too. My boy Lance Blake and his wife sent us a, a wedding gift. Uh, we had it in the mail. You can show. Oh, it's on your address. What y'all doing on this Saturday afternoon? It's been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Uh, you got a mask? Yeah. Put a mask on. Run in there and tell her I want him watermelon drinks. Jump, jump right there. Okay. Dale, andale, andale. <laughs> All right, run straight in there. Don't get kidnapped. Uh. Let's see how you look in that hat. Let's see the let's see the hat. Already. All right. You know what you're getting? The watermelon juice. Watermelon juice. This jacket is huge. Will you run in there and get it before she comes out? Bye. <laughs> Man. Tell me what y'all do if you got a kid in the back seat that be crying, crying, crying. What do y'all do? What do you do? To ease, calm your nerves, let me know. Type in the comments, let me know what y'all do. Because every time we stop the car, baby roll, cry, cry, cry. When we're driving on the freeway, he's good. He don't cry. But if we come to a halt, he gonna start tripping. They see you crying. They hear you crying, boy. Yeah, we're talking about you. 
No crying. You be good boy. Alright, anyway, let me open up this package. See my boy Lance Blake. Lance Blake and Teresa, his wife Teresa, sent us. Hold on, man, my phone's ringing. Let me, let me, I'll be right back. Okay, so <laughs> I'm back in the car. I've gone to Michoacana and then I went to the gas station because El Señor quería una soda since they didn't have a watermelon. Like agua de sandía at. Um, let me check on that. And then, like, when we were about to pull up to the house, he goes, I think I want some crab legs. So we ran to H-E-B to get some, um, so we can make some. And he just told me that he promised y'all we were gonna open this. So, cute shout out to Lance Blake and Teresa, his wife, because they know that we're getting married, and so they sent these books. She had gave me a heads up. And it says, Teleki and Kelly, hope these books bless you guys like it blessed Lance and I. Love y'all, God bless, from Lance and Teresa. Can you see, can you see, can you see? Yeah. And it's one for each. So it says. Rainy? No, it says preparing for marriage, devotion for couples. Oh, oh, the, that's their last name, Rainy. The author, yeah. Dennis and Barbara Rainey. Rainey. So this is our homework before our wedding is to read it. It's not that thick. Well, I think it's every day you read a P. That's what a devotional is, right? It's like yeah. a daily devotional. Yeah, you're right. You are correct. I'm about to pull up to the house. Why? And I'll update y'all. So about to make some food. I'm gonna give you all my recipe on everything that I make. Why, so stay at? tuned. We made it home. Hi, baby. Kingston complained he has chapped lips because he was outside playing basketball in the cold. Ain't nobody tell you to go out there and play basketball. Come on, you ready to go barbecue? You ready to make it happen? Yeah? Let go. Open up the door. shopping at La Michoacana because it's like as soon as you walk in everything you need to get down in the kitchen is like right there they have the aguacates what's next to the tomatoes and the onions and the lemons and they just have everything you need and it's always like in season because sometimes we go to uh, H-E-B and we want to get some avocados and they're all hard or they're all mushy because it's not, you know, like in season. So, um, unloading everything because I'm gonna make some frijoles charros. And I'm also going to be making the crab legs as like a little appetizer. I'm not gonna lie, I've been wanting hot chips. I know they're not good for you, but whatever, you know every now and then it's okay this is what i use for my rice but this right here this right here is everything like if you put one pack of these in your rice with some salt and then you put some um some of this in there girl so i bought a pound of fajita marinada and also costillas de res marinadas we are about to eat good. So let me get situated and then I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna teach y'all how to make my frijoles charros for the last time. Cause I've done it before and then y'all ask a lot on my Instagram. Like, where's the video? Or how do you make it? So I'm gonna show y'all. And then I'm also going to make the crab legs. Um, but we gotta start with the beans cause they take longer. So let's do it. You gotta start off your water to boil first. That's step one. 
and then you have to clean your beans. So let's go do that. Okay, so I already washed them and I try to pick out all the ugly looking ones. You can't really see them. I'm not focusing. I don't know why. Whatever, but um, putting those to the side and we're gonna let these boil while I cut up everything we need for them. Okay, and this is what you need. I'm gonna cut up this onion. It's half of an onion. That should be enough. I'm gonna cut up this tomato. I might need another one. This jalapeno is huge, you guys. Look, it's the size of my hand. Um, so it's gonna be spicy. Some sausage, some cilantro, and then also some bacon. And I'm about to chop this up and then I'm gonna add it on there. I'm done chopping everything up. Onion, tomato, jalapeno, cilantro. I'm about to dump it in there. Let me see if I can do it with just one hand. Thank you, G. You're welcome. There we go. Get all the flavors going and then I'm gonna rinse this uh, cutting board off. And I'm gonna start chopping the sausage and the uh, bacon. Looking so flavorful. Okay, got the sausage and the bacon. This is the thing that's gonna make it pop it. And I'm gonna be using garlic salt, salt, sea salt, and some pepper. And I'm always super generous with the pinto bean seasoning. Super, super generous. Garlic salt. Some pepper. And some salt. But Gigi is getting down with the rice. That needs a top two, Gigi. Can you get one for mine? Uh, it'll be all right. Give me five. While the beans are cooking and doing their thing, I'm about to start on the crab legs because that doesn't take long, you guys. But I'm about to show y'all what I'm gonna use. Can you get me the crawfish foil today? So I used the, I think, Cajun, I don't know, it's a bag, the bag, Cajun seasoning for crawfish. But I put it in one of these. So I just labeled it as crawfish boil seasoning and then you're gonna need some garlic some minced garlic and then butter lots of butter so the trick is to try and submerge them in more butter than water but you're still gonna need some water so let's get that going okay so I have my setup right here and I've got my crab legs that, that I have to unwrap. Oh, it smells like seafood. <laughs> it's it stinks. Yes, it does. Strong odor. <laughs> but this is gonna be super, super good. And fun fact, shout out to Vanessa and Ace because she's the one that taught me how to basically make a little crack in them in order for the flavor to season in there. Wait, what are these again? How big are crabs? There's some small ones, there's some big ones. Ready. 
are these like hands? What is that? Yep. Beans are cooking. Nice. It needs more water. Mmm, the rice smells good though. I checked on it. Now, y'all, this is what's gonna do the trick. This butter, this garlic, and the seasoning is where it's at. Oh, I can smell the garlic. Now, if you don't like spicy, cut this one. Just add salt. But this is gonna give it that. Well, that's gonna make it good and flavorful. Now that's kind of a lot, but that's how we like it. It looks like I don't know what I'm doing, but it's because of this pan. Let's. Yeah. Smells so good. Got crawfish boil. <laughs> oh, look at all that butter at the bottom of the pan. Here. Oh. Put a top on that baby. And I am going to check, check it and try to mix it in like five minutes. Because it's not going to take that long. Like, honestly. Um, it takes you know, the most 10 minutes. But you want it to be boiling and you want it to be like all simmering and, you know, soaking up that flavor. But the beans are looking good. Go check on Dad. I was about to say that. Oh. <laughs> all right, we're about to go check on Dad. Really? What's up, uh, Lucha gang? We got my boy A and A Ron in the building. What's up? What's happening? Uh, Y'all see when we're cooking? Y'all see? Oh, I think I'm burning it up oh, over here. Hold man. on. Oh, oh man. man. Don't yeah. put it on. Me, I, I, man. I, was, I was talking for too long. I done, I done burned it up. Oh, man. Oh, oh no. I That's think it was just a that little one. crispy. <laughs> just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, man. Y'all don't forget me and uh, A Ron gonna be in Lubbock, Texas. Yeah. January 29th. And La Misa, January, January 30th. 30. Hey, we're gonna have our brother Fire out there, man. Yes, sir. It's gonna be awesome, bro. Shout out to River Life Church. It's gonna be out there in La Misa, Texas. Man, it's going up. I'm telling you, you're not gonna wanna miss it. That's right. Say hi. He stopped crying when I showed him the camera. And he scared you? You can't eat the camera, silly goose. All right, crab legs are just about ready. We're turning off the fire. The beans are smelling delicious. I do think they still need some time though. These could take up to two hours and the bean shouldn't look like that. It should look more, uh, I fogged up the camera, yeah, yeah. but it should look a little more brown and not like how you buy them at the store. I'm about to melt some butter and just get everything ready for whenever the beans are ready. Um, got pico, got some guac, and I'm about to try to clean up this area real quick so that we, we could just sit down and eat. My boy A. Ron said he Man. has never ate crab legs and fajitas and rice and beans all at the same time. What's really going on? <laughs> but I'm about to have some chato beans and call it a day. We appreciate y'all for watching. Stay tuned. 
And remember, if you're in the Houston area, come to Get Rap Church tomorrow at 10 a.m. You do not want to miss it. We are going to be live in the building. You watch Luciano TV.